Hello outlaws and hello campers. It's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Or you know, if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. And now, if it is your first time here, you should just hit that subscribe button. Because it don't cost nothing. Guys, I'm pretty sure that you have been watching all of this uh, amazing Adirondack camping series. Um, I am still on the shores of Pasico Lake. Uh, this is Higgins Bay. Um, Pasico Lake, New York, deep inside the blue line of New York State's uh, Adirondack Park. Uh, today is a Friday, and it's actually about 75 degrees right now, so that's warmer than it was supposed to get all day, but that is a good thing. Oh, look at that, guys. There's a fucking sailboat out there heading right towards the uh, shadow of Panther Mountain. Wow. That's amazing. Don't worry, guys. There's going to be some boat action. Um, what I do want to say before I really get into this video is uh, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of the series, there will, of course, be a link to all of them down in the description. So make sure you've checked uh, all those out so you know what's going on. Now, uh, what I'm going to have for you guys in this video, this is going to be um, sort of a gear dump. Oh, here we go, guys. We've got some activity. Probably hear that. Um, not really sure how this is going to go. But is it going to deter me? No. People get a little bit nervous and uh, they're very reluctant to fuck with a guy talking to a camera. Uh, nobody wants to show up inadvertently on YouTube. Oh, man. Uh, anyway. I have to get to this gear dump video, guys, because let me show you. Over here, you guys can probably see this, uh, this island here uh, on Pasico Lake. I'm going to be camping there tonight. At least, that is my plan. However, this is Outlaw Camp, guys, and as you all know, a plan is just a list of things that do not happen. I think there's some shit for sale here at Sunnyvale, boys. Um, don't worry, this isn't going to be a huge detriment to this video. Um, I feel like this guy down here in the uh, whatever kind of shirt that is, the guy in the black shirt, uh, he seems like he's trying to sell something to these two people. Uh, he's giving them all kinds of uh, information on the lake, like how deep it is. I heard 22 feet at the deepest. I highly doubt that, but you know, he could be right. Oh, Jesus. Great. Yeah, guys. Um, I am still going to camp on this island. Uh, the one over there. I am still going to do a gear dump video. Um, I really hope that these people down here don't try and come up and talk to me or ask me for any information because I have zero information. Um, I'm not from here not from around here I ain't from around these parts uh, but anyway yeah guys um, I'm staying here at the beautiful resort like Camp Nancy um, thank you Bob thank you Nancy for letting me and the girlfriend stay up here uh, the girlfriend is still alive she's just inside taking a nap um, I, you know these guys aren't natives but I don't want to spook them um, I'm gonna have a beer and I'm gonna have a cigar guys um, I got something two I mean two really special things to show you I got a lot to show you in this video like I said this is a gear dump video just so I can get ready to go camp out there on this island um, yeah uh, hey at least uh, these people did not molest um, the Seahawk 3 which is a good thing um, I, I fully expected that guy to go up there and be like, well, what the fuck is this thing? Yeah, I'll kick it or something, but that didn't happen. Um, so anyway, uh, I am a guest here, <sighs> just a visitor. So I'm going to let the, the tour continue. And then, um, you know, now's a good time for you guys to grab yourselves a drink, a beer if you drink beer, or whatever the fuck it is you drink. I don't care. Grab one now because you're going to need one for this video. I'm going to do the same. <sighs> yeah, guys. 
it's outlaw camp. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> So, okay guys, I feel like for the most part, I've done my part. Um, it's time to have a beer. It's time to light a cigar. And it's uh, almost time to show you everything that, or at least I hope everything, that I'm gonna be bringing with me out there to camp on this island. Uh, so first things first, guys. Um, I have got a cigar that I've been wanting to try for a very long time. I have here, this is a Rocky Patel um, I don't know what kind it is. It says Sun Grown, uh, Rocky Patel. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter, but it's a Rocky Patel cigar. I got this from a company called uh, Best Cigar Prices. Oh my God, this smells good. Now, I heard about Rocky Patel cigars from someone, one of my uh, subscribers, and honestly, I couldn't tell you who it was. I'm thinking it might have been Dan Gunn. I, I don't know. Um, seriously, guys. I mean, I could look it up, but I ain't got a lot of time. Uh, cell phone service here is sketchy as it is. Uh, supposedly, there's internet, but nobody knows the password. Uh, so, whoever it was that uh, mentioned that they smoked some Rocky Patel cigars, uh, just leave it down in the comments. I'll pin the comment, and, um, you know, good a drink to you. So, guys, I've been... I mean, I've had this uh, cigar for, oh, probably three or four days now, and I cannot wait to light it to get into it. Um, I did mention, I think, I don't know if I didn't, I got this from a place called Best Cigar Prices at a great introductory offer from uh, the elevator, and uh, you got like $150 of cigars for like 20 bucks. Uh, the only problem was they were supposed to send me a cigar cutter. They didn't, so I got to use my Point Break cigar cutter. But, you know, it's outlaw camp. If all you got is what you got, it's all you got. Mm-hmm. This one was good. Almost. Maybe another match. You guys have seen me try and light cigars before. This has been my most successful attempt. So far, guys, it's amazing. We got her now. So, uh, yeah, man, I don't know what these things run you. Uh, I think they're pretty expensive. You know what would go great with this, guys? It's fucking beer. Now, what I'm going to rock for this video, um, guys, it's from uh, Paradox Brewery. These guys are in uh, North Hudson, New York. I'm not sure if I drank one of these or not yet in... This whole series, uh, it's only four and a half percent. It's an amber. Um, here you go, you can see the can. I know Paradox, like they changed their cans, but I like this. It's simple. I enjoy the, uh, enjoy the labeling. Um, anyway, guys, uh, this it's uh, an amber ale, and I know it's still summer. I mean, right now we've got uh, about 14 days of summer left. Something like that, probably about two weeks left of summer. And uh, I'm gonna try and take full advantage of it. I mean, how can I not? Look look where the fuck I am, guys. I mean, it's fucking beautiful. And it's, uh, it's about quarter of three. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get over there. Uh, definitely after I do this video, probably. Um, Cause I gotta go through my gear, I gotta get everything ready. I believe that the sun sets tonight probably about uh, 7.30 or so, and dusk would be about uh, a couple minutes till eight. Um, I, gotta, I gotta be out there. I gotta be over there way before that happens. And um, you know, if I don't start drinking and uh, stop talking, 
then I'm never, it's not gonna happen. Little uh, Dutch angle, make you guys feel like you're drinking with me. So here we go guys, uh, the uh, Paradox Brewery Amber Ale. Um, it's not really time yet, <coughs> um, but it's closer to Amber Ale season than it is to IPA season. Um, so here we go guys, I have no one to drink to. This is obviously not a first of the day, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to drink to, I believe it was Dan Gunn, I don't know, whoever it was that uh, told me about Rocky Patel cigars. Because this is worth it, I'm enjoying it. Thank you, here's to you. Please, let me know down in the comments if you see this video. Oh, this stuff is great. Paradox definitely makes my favorite camping beers. Man. Well, it's all well and good for you, but I got some work to do. Um, so guys, what I got here, uh, this is obviously from Alpha Outpost. Uh, it's a dry bag, wet bag, douche bag, whatever you want to call it. Uh, since I am going to be taking the Seahawk 3 over to the island, and it's supposed to piss rain tomorrow. Although it keeps changing, it was supposed to rain about 8 in the morning, it's supposed to rain about noon, it might be later. Um, hopefully it is later, because um, I'm going to show you what I'm bringing for a uh, sleeping system and shelter. But I'm going to try and pack as much as I can in this uh, dry bag here, so uh, you know it stays dry until I get out there. So I am bringing, uh, this is from uh, Timu, it's, uh, you guys probably can't even see it. Because it doesn't matter. Uh, it's the uh, CLS Outdoor uh, Camping Stool. Uh, it's all packed up. Um, I have here, uh, I have a tarp um, and four tent stakes in here. I don't know if I'm going to actually string this up tonight. We'll find out when we get over there. Um, I also have here, guys, on my sleep system, this is uh, Misadventure Alley. That's right. It's the original uh, Aldi's, hopefully you can see it on there, Adventure Ridge, cold weather sleeping bag. Um, now it's not supposed to get below 60 tonight. I think it'll probably be about 50. Uh, it was 40 last night. Um, it's supposed to be warmer. I think this thing will serve me well. Um, I am bringing, of course, tried and true rumple pillow. Um, am I gonna use it? I don't know, but I'm gonna bring it. And in here, guys, this is just one of those uh, $10, really cheap uh, jungle hammocks, the one with the built-in bug netting. Um, they also have hammock straps in here and a pretty good length of cordage, so hopefully I can get it set up correctly. Uh, but we're going to get all this uh, in that bag. Not sure about the stool, but at least that. Um, now, of course, I will be more suitably garbed than I am right now for this uh, upcoming uh, camping misadventure. So don't worry about that, but you'll see my outfit when you see it. Whatever this cigar is still lit. Mm-hmm. This is great. Should have brought two of these. I have two of them. I only brought one. I don't know what the other kind of cigar it is that I brought, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I got some more gear over here I'm going to show you. I'm just going to bring the Mountain Smith bag instead of a backpack because it's only one night. It's not a lot of stuff that I actually need. Um, but let's continue on with the old uh, gear dump of this so you can see what it is. I'm going to be bringing out there into the Adirondack wilderness to camp on that island. Really can't wait to do this, guys. Um, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, um, like I said, link down in the description, check them out. But uh, it's been two years since I've been over there. Um, wasn't really sure I'd ever actually make it back here, but I did, thanks to the girlfriend who's inside sleeping. At least I hope she's sleeping. She could be awake because she's listening to me ramble endlessly. I don't know. Now hopefully some of this stuff will come out I know the lighting's bad, but you should be used to my shitty camera work. Um, I've got a big old roll of uh, Gorilla Tape, which I'm bringing because it, it, this shit's always going to come in handy. Um, I've got five zip ties that I found in the car. 
Um, don't ask me why I carry zip ties around in my car. Uh, it's, well, it's not even my car, it's my girlfriend's car. So don't ask why my girlfriend carries zip ties around in her car. Um, I have a, uh, this is a Flux Mob uh, battery pack because I'm going to need to keep the GoPro batteries charged. Um, the Petzl Tika XP headlamp, God bless Paul Petzl. I, I cannot seem to get my other uh, Petzl headlamp to work. Uh, probably because that one's about four or five years old. This one is well over 10 years old. Uh, but this is all I should need. Um, I'm bringing the Tops knife with me. Uh, this is the uh, Tops compact utility blade. You guys have seen this in I don't know how many videos. And um, hopefully this is the only knife I'm going to need. But you guys know, you know, two is one, one is none. It's not the only knife I'm going to have. I'm also going to have my uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool uh, Pizzota. It's uh, my EDC knife. Um, anyway, also in this pouch, I have a magnesium block with a ferro rod, uh, the striker scraper thing in it. It stays in this pouch in case I need it. Um, I've already been over to the island. Everybody knows. You've already seen the episodes. I'm not going to have any trouble uh, starting a fire. But... Um, so that's the knife I'm bringing. Uh, now I also am bringing a thermosel with me. I know this thing doesn't look all that great. I just noticed it's got a big old crack up here. Hopefully this thing works. I really don't know. I'm starting to get the feeling that this might be the thermosel that does not work. And I left the one that works at home. Um, does that matter? No, because I have another thermosel inside Camp Nancy. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring the other thermosel, and I'll show that to you uh, when I get to it. Um, so pretty much that means that I do not need the two thermosel uh, cartridges here, but I will need the uh, thermosel pads. Uh, this should be enough for one night. So I'm going to stick those back in the bag here, throw them over in this pile. I have some jute twine. Uh, why? I always carry jute twine. It's great to start fires, tie shit up, you know, whatever. It goes along with zip ties. Um, speaking of cordage, for some reason I've got this uh, Kevlar cord. Um, I don't know, I got this from Amazon. I have no idea why. I think I was looking for bank line and maybe I got this for free. I don't know, but I'm gonna bring this with me. How could it not come in handy? I also have this emergency hank of uh, cordage here, uh, which I'll throw in the Mountain Smith. Uh, uh, the, excuse me. Oh, yeah, I have, I've been drinking. Yeah, hopefully you've been drinking too. Cheers. Um, continuing on, this is just uh, one of those Smith's knife sharpeners. You guys all know how these work. It's always good to carry one with you. Um, I'm going to bring this spork with me. I feel like I should wash it. And maybe I will, maybe I won't. Doesn't matter. It's good to have a spork. You guys will see the food I'm bringing shortly. Uh, in this pouch, I have uh, some toilet paper, which is from MREs. Uh, two of those uh, compressed, uh, you, you can rehydrate them, Jebby towels, and a lens wipe. Uh, also, in this bag, the matches I am going to bring, uh, just because... You know, I love matches, especially for starting fires. Also has some lens wipes in here. So that's coming with me. Um, I, of course, have. You guys have been, you, you've seen this in all the previous episodes. It's just um, a bit later, you know, in a waterproof uh, container on this, uh, you know, dog tag chain. It can hang around my neck. Also, um, I got a pack of cigarettes here. It's actually a full pack of cigarettes. If you believe that this is uh, gonna be a full pack of cigarettes when I head out there, then this is definitely your first time at Outlaw Camp. Um, also, yeah, this koozie, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna bring along these uh, 511 tactical gloves to protect my hands. And um, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna show you guys the boat in a minute, but I've got this thing, and this is something that I got well over a year ago along with the boat and other things. Uh, this is from uh, Eaton Wolf, or I don't know, Eaton Wolf. I like to call it Eaton Wolf. Um, 
it's actually a little uh, has a light down here I'm not going to show you because I just charged it up and I don't want to waste a battery um, and also it's got you know you can kind of screw this on it's an air pump so this thing is going to be great because um, even though my boat is blown up um, I don't want to bring the hand pump along with me I could and I should because two is one one is none I'm really not going to be that far though guys I'm only going to be over there so even if my boat fucking deflated or whatever I could just probably wade back I might have to swim a little bit I think the deepest that channel gets probably about 10 feet in the middle um, doesn't matter uh, but I have this air pump which also has a light on it in case I need to top off the boat in the morning boat being down there which I may have to and I did actually use this this morning to top off the boat instead of um, you know the actual air pump so I know this thing works um, I mean, I've got the uh, the tinder box here I took the matches out of it I'm gonna bring with me uh, I got this whole this tinder bundle I don't think I'm gonna need it um, I do have this bag of all these ads you know I'm thinking I'm just gonna pull some hunk of all these ad out of here and just sort of throw it in with the uh, thermosel pads I, I you know I don't see why it's gonna be a problem in case I need it uh, yeah can I get this in here yeah look at that guys you guys thought you were gonna get to see a monkey fuck a football sorry but you know don't worry it'll probably happen at some point I do have another more knife here uh, I'm not gonna bring it uh, you know ferro rod sharpener I don't I don't need it uh, oh yeah definitely bringing this guys pocket bellows just in case uh, the rest of the stuff in here which I think you can see uh, I have a burn gel kit I got some fat wood I've had for God knows how long you know I am gonna bring this it's a little fire extinguisher now I know uh, it's probably not really all that great but I think it'll be good enough because I'm gonna be on that island and I want to have a fire and more importantly I want to make sure that I can put this fire out um, I definitely will bring some type of vessel with me to collect water from the lake so I can make sure my fire's out in the morning but in case of emergency I'm gonna bring this I don't want to be like those assholes that were up on like whatever one of the Saranac lakes that it was and you know well first of all they brought like gas you know gasoline shit ton of it I don't know a couple gallons to start a fire almost burned down the island um, I'm not gonna be one of those guys I'm not bringing gasoline and well yeah I am an asshole but that's besides the point but I'm gonna bring this along with me just in case um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here I need. If I can't start a fire with what I got here, then I have no business of camping on that island or really anywhere else. So, okay, guys. Um, like I said, uh, as far as thermosel goes, it's got the uh, backpacker thermosel in here, which you'll see if you need to see it. I'm just going to throw it into the Mountain Smith everything else uh, thrown in there with everything else a full isobutane tank um, so if bugs come out they're not gonna fuck with me I'm gonna fuck with them so I'm just gonna throw this tank in here um, nothing is organized in this bag but it doesn't need to be I can get to whatever I need to when I need to and I still have lots of pouches I haven't used yet um, so that's gonna go over there to go into the boat yeah good enough uh one thing i do have guys which i wanted to show you i've been dying to try i got the uh sawyer squeeze water filtration system um do i need this no it's totally unnecessary but i want to try it out because uh, i haven't yet i got all the stuff out of here um the actual instructions are in my basement back home in the bowels of southern central New York. But I feel like I should be able to figure out how to figure this out. Um, got me, look at this, got a mesh bag with a 
hang a little yeah we could do this um i'm gonna take these two little pouches here actually now that i think about it i think you're supposed to use one pouch for the dirty water and the other one for the clean water i don't know um we'll find out uh, i got that but i do have the actual filter here i got me a canteen uh, everything's blowing away in the wind because the wind is my enemy um let's go down to the lake guys let's get some water and uh, fill up this canteen we're gonna bring this canteen with us tonight uh so we have some uh water to drink i mean i might have a lot to drink but um water is gonna be a good thing um, I also have a water bottle which I can fill up with lake water in case I need to filter more or put out a fire uh, if I do have a fire. Um, so okay guys, a little bonus here. We're going to try out the uh, Sir Squeeze water filter in this video. Why the fuck not? What else are we going to do? Yeah, uh, my batteries are not lasting long at all out here guys. Um, there's the island. Here's the uh, the Seahawk 3, which I still haven't given a name to yet. Uh, we'll probably do it at some point. Um, I do have my life jacket in here in case I need it. I probably won't, but yeah, you can't even see it because of the shadows. And of course, a grappling hook, which I may use. I'm going to attempt to fill these things up with some water from the lake. And uh, then we're going to go back and filter it. Um... I don't know guys, this guy's here, That's I think that's okay, this guy's pulling up, oh man, let's get some water off a of desolation dock uh, to sort of filter out, I think it'll all be okay, I don't know, it's a Sawyer squeeze, I just, you know, I, I could just probably get water from the sink in the bathroom, I'm sure it's uh, drinkable, but I don't know guys. What's the fun of that, you know? If you ain't got some desolation dock water that you're gonna filter, what's the point of having one of these? Okay, um, there's, I don't know if you can see them. There's lots of little fish in here, but this is what I'm doing, guys. Filling it up with some lake water. Uh, yeah. I think this is gonna take a little bit longer than I really want it to. I don't even know. Probably not even on camera. But there we go, guys. You get you get the picture. I'm going to fill up this sack. I'm going to fill up this sack. Then we're going to take it back. Back to Camp Nancy. And uh, filter it out. So we got something to drink. Sounds like a plan. Well, or whatever, you know. Well... <clears throat> fire's still going um yeah cigar sitting over there it took me a lot longer to fill up these water bottles from the lake than i thought it would or water pouches whatever um i'm gonna attempt to filter them into this canteen so i have something to drink <laughs> i mean so i have some water to drink over there on that island um as far as i know i'm not going to need any water for cooking so you know this should be enough uh if it's not then i have this awesome water filtration system and i can get lake water but let's see how this fucking thing works all right uh here's one um now you know like your girlfriend said i don't know if that made it on camera or not uh i could just google this and i like the idea of being able to just get the water and then let it just sort of filter its own way out in like a drip system. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try the squeeze though here. It works, okay. Let's not waste any of this potentially delicious lake water. Um, gonna fill up this canteen. I got the canteen here, hopefully it's on camera. And just stick that in there. And we're gonna do the squeeze. It's working, guys. It's working. This is pretty amazing. Uh, hopefully, you know what? Let me try some of this. Mm.
It actually tastes pretty good. I mean, I thought it would taste like some chemical or something. Um, I don't know. I've never used one of these, you know? I have a light straw. I've never used it. Um, this seems far superior. I like the fact that I can get water like this if I need it. Um, but I'm just doing this so I got something to bring with me when I go camp on this island. Um, one of these days I'll probably hook up the actual, you know, gravity thing and just let it go like that, but, you know, why? Why now? I mean, I don't have time now. Uh, I'm burning daylight. Uh, it's actually almost four o'clock, guys, which means I have about three and a half hours of light, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I am going to camp out there. I'm going to check on the girlfriend and see what she's up to, though. She's in there looking at her phone. I don't know. Uh, guys, I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of this so far. Um, I think I learned about this from Rewild Outdoors. I got a sticker from him on my cooler. I'll show that to you after I get done filtering this water. Um, I don't know. How much, what have I got in here? Ooh, almost full. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that water. I should probably put it in a water bottle or something. Some Find some type of vessel. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly confident that I'm not going to die from uh, some kind of weird-ass waterborne illness. Uh, you know, if I do, and this is posted posthumously... Um, I appreciate everybody watching. Okay. Alright, see now this one I don't have to squeeze. So I'm somewhat concerned about that. Is it working correctly? I don't know. Let me, uh... Yeah, it seems to be. Alright, guys. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you don't want to die, you want water to drink... Just get yourselves one of these Sawyer things. Uh, don't let it sit down in your basement for a year before you use it. Use it right away. Try it out. It's fun. So guys, yeah, this is, uh, you know, since I'm going to be in a camping situation, not a survival situation, but a camping situation, this, I'm glad to have this. And my canteen is full. And I still got a big old pouch of water. So I got this to bring with me, um, some filtered water in this old canteen. That's fucking awesome. So, all right, yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I got the canteen of water over there. Um, but all I got to get is everything into the boat. That'll all happen in the next episode. Uh, and my food and uh, beverages. But... You guys will see that later. There's really no point in showing you what I'm going to eat before I eat it. Because I may not even eat it. Um, last things I got that I'm bringing with me. Of course, this lighter, which I showed you. And I do have down here, which you probably can't see. But I have the Leatherman. It's the uh, Leatherman Wave. Wave Plus, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, it's 4 o'clock now. Still 75 degrees. Um, I think we're going to be okay out there tonight. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I'm pretty much, guys, I'm just going to smoke the rest of the cigar. I'm going to drink, which, I mean, I think this is my last uh, uh, amber lager. I got different shit I'll be taking out there. Oh, man, this is great. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for checking out this gear dump of the crap I'm going to bring. Uh... You know, the only thing you're missing is just, you know, what I'm going to wear. And uh, that's it. So I think the next time I see you guys, I'll be on that island. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm just going to kind of relax for a little while. And, uh, you know, make sure I'm ready to go. I appreciate all of you. Um, you know, until the next episode when hopefully I will be camping on that island. Um, tell your friends, tell your enemies.
Saw Lock Camp, cold beer. Expatriates are always welcome. Never, ever any extradition. So camp in his way Fuck you too, boo He's living free I won't care for just let him be No rules, no plans, no place you can't stay Tell your friends, tell your enemies He's camp in his way